That's what I've been told, Jem looked out of the corners of his eyes. His voice rose uncontrollably. Arshe. Atticus, what's the matter? You can give me a little more than that, Arshe. Atticus, what's the matter? Atticus crossed his knees <laughs> and <laughs> his own. I'm trying to tell you the facts of life. Jim discussed the deep end. I know all that stuff, he said. <laughs> Brianna. Oh, he said, Atticus suddenly grow serious. Not grow serious, it's, say it again. Atticus suddenly grow serious. And then it's a lawyer boy, but that is a Mm-hmm. He said, your aunt has asked me to try to get a press upon you and get you to leave. That you are more not from one of the Mm -hmm. Atticus paused, watching me locate an elusive red bug on my leg. Gentle breeding, he continued, when I had found and scratched it, and that you should try to live up to your name, Atticus uh, persevered in spite of us. She asked me to tell you, you must try to behave like the little lady and gentleman that you are. She wants to talk to you about the family and what it's meant to Maycomb County through the years, so you'll have some idea of who you are, so you might be moved to behave accordingly, he concluded at a gallop. Mel. So when Jim and I looked at each other, then at Atticus, whose colleagues seemed to worry him. He did not speak to me. Presently, I picked up a poem from Jim's gesture and ran its teeth along the edge. Good, I need an irritated Atticus. Who wants it? Ronnie. Stop that noise, Atticus said. His curtness stung me. Aaron. 